us in the door. I'm just trying to figure out how it is we're going to convince her that everything's going to be all right. We won't be able to. She's going to be heartbroken. She loves him. She's going to have to get over him, Reba. It's not going to be that easy. She loves him the same way I loved you. That overwhelming, powerful kind of love. Reba. She has I'm... incredible faith in him. Tony can't be an option for her anymore. It may not be that easy. Because sometimes you love harder when you know that the whole world is against you. You two are worse than teenagers. Mara. And you're going to have the house all to yourself because I have Honey, a study group. Honey, we need study. to talk to you about Tony. I really should hurry. I don't want to be late. Does this study group involve notebooks? All right, I am going to the hospital to talk to Maria Santos' doctor. All right, just sit down for a minute. I Maria. know that she saw something the night of the murder. I don't know. Maybe she's involved somehow. All I know is that Tony is not defending himself, and, and maybe she knows why. Mara, you have to sit down. We need to talk to you about something. Dad, I love you, but you don't know Tony like I do, and I know that he would never kill Catalina, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to prove that. I'm sorry to have to tell you this. Tony confessed last night. Do you have any idea what the hell Tony was thinking? Danny, what's wrong? You look terrible. Well, well good morning to you, too. Well, uh, Tony's confession surprised me as well as anyone. I mean, what was he thinking? Uh, that's what I'd like to find out. It's a little early in the day for this kind of action, don't you think? They were here probably from the night before. This is Tony's action. Yeah, well, I want it gone. Come on, Danny, the regulars. This game's been going on for months. Do I look like I want to have a conversation about this? Get rid of them. It's under control, Danny. Look. All I'm trying to do is keep business as usual, that's all. Uh-huh. Just, I got it taken care of. Yeah, well, Romeo, because you're a friend of Tony's, there's a place for you here, as long as you follow orders. Just let me know what you decide. Romeo, Romeo, just tell them that this is the last hand and that the boss wants them out. All right, big boy. Are you ready? This is a big day for you, isn't it? We're gonna go see Daddy, and we're gonna go get you a pair of your first big boy shoes. What do you think about that, huh? Here we are, back to the real world. No, I don't want the real world. No, no, no. I just want you. I want you too. This is going to be awfully naughty for me to say this, but could you kiss me? Could you just kiss me one last time before I have to face what's on the other side of the store? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. 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 Hey. Hello. We just... Oh, hey. home. Thank you. Yeah. We're just uh, back from the cabin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Back from the cabin. Yeah. yeah. You have a good time? Yeah. yeah. You had a great time. Yeah. It's a nice cabin. Beautiful cabin. Oh, it I is. Mm -hmm. It is. I've always yeah. loved it. So I see you had some fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so where are you and Robbie heading off to? You know, my brother. He's the king of segways. <laughs> we're going to go meet Danny. And we're going to buy Robbie his first real pair of big boy shoes. No, oh. big boy mm -hmm. shoes. No, it's too yeah. soon. Yeah. It's too soon. Okay, I'll no. hold him back. You two make a break for the door. <laughs> okay. oh, oh, so you're going to meet Danny at the mall? Is that what you're going to do? Oh, no. Actually, we're going to meet him at Inferno. In what is he doing over in, in Inferno? Well, uh, Tony can't exactly run it from behind bars, you know. It oh. was Danny's place, so it's only natural that he'd step in and uh, keep an eye on things. Yeah, I'm sure it's just going to be for a little while. I hope. But I don't know. Tony confessed to Catalina's murder last night. Remember, I get paid whether you help me or not. So what the hell are we waiting for? Let's just get this over with. Look, Tony, we still have time. I can get your confession tossed out. Once I do that, I am free to introduce other scenarios, possible suspects. You just, you don't get it, do you? We're going to do this my way. Period. 
I'm pleading guilty today. What's your hurry? We can postpone the plea. What's, what's with this we business, huh? Are you planning on sharing this cell with me? No, right? So why don't you just shut up and do what you're told? Listen, kid, I'm your lawyer, not your whipping boy. Don't confuse the two. Oh! Happy day. Come on, Tony. Time to go to court. Uh, my client and I aren't quite ready. Yes, we are. That was a confessor. Boy, he loves to confess. Must be the black sheep of the family, huh? You should get a rest. Hey, you know what? Don't do me any favors. Come on. Knock yourself out. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, real tight. Mm hmm I know how hard this must be for you. No, no, it's not. It would be if it were true, but it's not, Tony is innocent. Mara, he confessed. You have to accept that. No, I don't. Nothing has changed. I know that he's innocent. The police found him with the murder weapon standing over her body, sweetheart. Now, whether or not you believe it, he's guilty. Maybe he confessed because he's protecting someone, Carmen, or his grandmother. His grandmother was the one that called the police. Yeah, and she's also the one who called me. She set this whole thing up. I know that she did. Why would she do something like that to her own grandson? I don't know. You have to let him go. No. Everyone else is going to give up on him, but I am not. I know that he didn't do it. This portion of guiding... Mara, we're not questioning your love for Tony. Good, because it's not open for debate. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but it just, it seems to me that I have the two parents in the world who should understand that you don't choose who you fall in love with. I don't have a choice in this. I love Tony. And it's because you love him that you won't accept the fact that he's guilty. I understand that. But, sweetheart, he confessed. Mom, I can't, I can't think about that right now. All I know is that he needs me, and... And if I don't go there and show him that I still believe in him, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. Mara, if there were some way that right now you could know for sure that he did it, that he was guilty, could you let him go? I know that he's not. So there's nothing we can say or do to stop you from going to him? No. Okay. All right. Promise me something. Even though we disagree about Tony, even though we're on different sides of this issue, promise me that you will always remember that you can come back here whenever you need to. Even if you just need to come back and cry, whatever it is. Thank you. We will be here for you. is good, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's great, but it just makes me think about that poor girl, Catalina, and how desperate she was mm -hmm. in her love. I mean, she wanted the father of her baby to love her so much. It just, it breaks my heart, her neediness. And to think that he could kill her. I know, that, that whole thing's just a nightmare. I mean, how come people are so unlucky and and here i have you i feel kind of guilty what? do you think michelle knows you know she was looking at me kind of funny 
Oh, you mean, do you think that she knows that we made love just by looking at us? No. No, no, <laughs> no. way. You think maybe she, she, will she, nah, no, No, you know what, here, I'm, I'm acting no. like I just got back from my senior prom. Well, you know what? I think it's adorable. Adorable? Yes. Oh, come on, anything but adorable. No, it's especially adorable on you, especially from such a hard-driven career woman like you. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. me. That's yeah. me. You know, I, I know you can tell I missed out on my teenage years. All the time I was supposed to be dating and, and talking on the phone, I was studying at home, going to, to math associations and science camps. Please, science camps? You yeah. going to science camps? You know what? Camps? Don't make oh, me yeah, hurt you. Oh, yeah, you got science camp okay. written all over you. You know what? You. The point is, what I'm trying to say is that I put the whole young love thing on hold. You know that. I told yeah, you that yeah, a thousand times. So if if I gush or, or act silly, just bear that in mind. Hmm. Okay. The deal is... That goes for me, too. Okay? Okay, boss. I told them to leave, but I gotta tell you, they weren't too happy about it. Yeah, my heart is breaking. They have to know that when we say it's over, it's over. And that's all there is to it. He's right. The cleaner we run this place, the easier things will go for Tony. Yeah, well, Tony and I knew how to run things just fine. You heard me, Romeo. You're welcome to stay, but you are more than welcome to leave. Hey, you think I'm blind? You're cheap. Don't blame me if you don't know how to play. Hey, guys, break it up. The party's over. Who are you, Who are you calling a cheat? Gentlemen, this game is over. Hey, it's not over till it's over, lady. Oh, oh, hey, ah, ah, ah. You didn't hear me correctly, buddy. You were told to get out of here. Yeah, okay. okay well, let me give you something else for future reference. This is a Santos establishment. You come here, you play by our rules. Now you apologize to my mother. Uh, now! I'm sorry, Mrs. Santos. Apology accepted. Get out of here while you still can. thing I walk in here this morning and there's this card game going on I just I tried to break it up and you know, it's a little nonsense over it and it's not it's taken care of yes and I was insulted in the process but Danny came to my defense just like any good son would wouldn't he huh oh Robbie well it's not gonna happen again because <laughs> there's no more gambling at Inferno <laughs> oh Michelle you shouldn't be angry with Danny he was only doing the right thing I'm Call not me. Angry. I trust Danny. I know that he'll always do the right thing. Well, I'll give you two a moment alone. I don't need Thanks. Um. So what's going on? We're supposed to take Robbie. To I know. Choose. I know. I know. But I haven't heard from Tony or his lawyer yet, and I just I, I feel like I really shouldn't live here until I do. Okay, I, I understand. But we can do it still later, right? Sure. Okay. Do you, you want us to meet you back at the house? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, how long do you think you'll be? Not long. Okay. Soon. I'll call you. Okay? Okay. 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 Robbie, honey, put that down. Oh, he's just playing with them. Here's Michelle, that. he thinks they're toys. <laughs> just like Danny did when he was his age. Oh. Bye, sweetie. Bye, Michelle. Okay. Bye, okay. sport. Hey, you okay? <laughs> that was some kiss. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, not bad for a beginner, huh? <clears throat> you should you should give some lessons, you know. <clears throat> <sighs> hey, you sure you're okay? You you really are breathing hard. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just you know, a little out of practice. I mean, don't forget, I'm a couple years older than you. Right? Okay, you wouldn't happen to be having commitmentitis, would you? Me? No, no way. No? No. Well, maybe you were right. You know, maybe we should slow things down oh, no, a no, bit. No, 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 no. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. See, I'm, I'm exactly where I want to be with who I want to be with. You understand? And the shortness of breath is? Shortness of breath. I'm very disappointed in you, doctor. And your diagnostic skills have been way off lately, okay? <laughs> I mean, all these symptoms, shortness of breath, racing heart, tendency to smile for no discernible reason, point to one thing and one thing only. And what would that be? I think I'm in love. I think it's contagious. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that you must be uh, adopted because any real Santos knows when it comes time for an arraignment hearing, that would be the time to cop a plea. Don't let the funny detective get to you, Tony. I don't think I can get to him. I don't think anybody can get to him. He killed his bride. I think he's got ice water running through his veins. Why don't you take it easy? Tony, this is a setback. That's all it is. I'm going to appeal the bail decision. I'll get you out of here in a couple of days. You're listening to me, right? Huh? Don't bother. Look, Tony, whatever you're feeling right now is going to change, I promise you. I'm going to go put your appeal in motion, and while I'm gone, you are not to say one word, not one. You got me? Good. Good job, Winthrop. Ever hear the one about the lawyer? Two lawyers walk into a bar, right? One lawyer sits to the other one. Hey, how do you know when a lawyer... Wait, wait, Tony, please, wait, please. What are you doing here? She shouldn't be... Get her out please, of here. Please, do Get not out. do this to yourself, please. You tell them the truth, or I'm going to tell them right now. Why do I... Out! Get out! Listen, if she's got something to say, I'd like to hear it. Tony, what do you have to say, Mom? Tony, now is a great time to Tony didn't kill Catalina! What are you talking about? Get her out of here! He didn't. He's covering up for somebody. I know you're right! I got it! I got it! Get her out! Open the door. Get out! What are you doing? I'm going to sustain you. Get out! Get out of here. What are you talking about? Please, Tony, you know. Shut up! What the hell do you think you know? What the hell do you think you know, huh? Look, you're just, you're just a little naive girl that I played with. Don't you know that? Just a girl I had my fun with. What? You, th you think, you think you really know who I am? <laughs> you don't. And neither Catalina. But she found out, didn't she? Didn't she? She just didn't live to tell you about it. You're incredible. You're the most wonderful father in the world. I just sent my daughter off to be with her boyfriend, the murderer. I don't think that qualifies me for father of the year. You may not think so, but I think Mara's going to look back at this and she's going to know that you trusted and respected her enough to let her go. Does it still count if, you know, what I really wanted to do was uh, lock her up somewhere and, <laughs> and keep her safe from all of this, do you suppose? That's when it especially counts. Is it possible that this is easier for you? I, 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 I'm just thinking that she reminds you of yourself, right? I mean, you look at her and you see yourself. Does that scare you? No. I was just hoping that she wouldn't have to deal with all the stuff that you had to deal with in your life. 
Me too. But they're kids. They grow up. They make their own choices. You see them heading right into heartbreak, and it's like being in a car with a student driver. <laughs> you keep hitting the brake, <laughs> and they just keep going. Can't, can't somebody take after me? <laughs> well, how? In what way? I just mean being, uh, I don't know, sensible <laughs> would be nice. <laughs> oh, right. Please. You are as stubborn as your daughter I am is. not. I'm the most malleable guy that I know. Oh, uh, right. I am. I could use some support here, you know, an ally maybe. Where's Shane, by the way? You know what I think you need? You know what I think we both need? Something else to think about. Anything. Anything else. This is helping. <laughs> Marry me. Well, I intend to, ma'am. In due time. No time like the present. <laughs> Don't you think things are a little crazy right now? Well, when won't they be? Well, I, I mean, don't, don't you think we should wait until Mara um, gets her life together? <laughs> when will anybody's life ever be together? <laughs> I think what this family needs is something to look forward to, <laughs> you know, something to plan. I don't think we should wait. I'm stubborn too. And I think we should get married now. What are you telling me, Cass? You just, you stood there and let Tony confess to everything? Why don't you stop him? Do you know your cousin, Tony? Yeah, I... Uh, yeah. I do. He's a... Well, he's a hothead, for one thing. I, I don't get it. Was he going to do go to prison for the rest of his life? I was kind of hoping that you'd be able to answer that for me. Tony will not open up to me. I need you in there. He'll talk to you. That's, I can't, that's, it's not an option. I, 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 I've got my wife and my kid and Danny, you promised me 100%. I would have gone to Ray, but they don't speak the same language. You and Tony do. You were up in a murder charge not too long ago, weren't you? Yeah. They were railroading you on the express track, didn't care whether you were guilty or innocent. Well... All they, all they cared about was that they had Danny Santos. There was also a, a lunatic fed who was out to get me. Gasai Toro, now a proud member of Springfield's finest and one of the lead detectives on Tony's case. Look, Tony might talk to you because he knows that you've been where he is now. All right. Yeah. Okay. What do you need me to do? I fell. <laughs> I couldn't believe that you left. Hey! You gonna show me those shoes? Uh, no shoes yet. Shopping was postponed. Danny was a little busy when we got to the club. Oh, um, and a sitter's upstairs. And Robbie's napping, so I'm gonna take this chance and I'm gonna go for a run. Oh, that's, that's sort of weird. It's sort of odd that the Inferno's that busy this early in the day, isn't it? Are you okay? I'm wonderful. I'm just oh. wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm just a little edgy. You look tired. Doesn't mm. he look tired? I'm fine. There's nothing a good night's sleep can't take care of. No, but I mean, you look a little run down. You, you're feeling okay? I'm fine, Dr. Michelle. I'm just fine. Okay, well, excuse me for caring. Didn't mean to step on your turf. Ooh, wow. We're going to have to work on that bedside manner. Doctor. You know what? For the record, uh -oh. I would have made one hell of a doctor. Yeah, I know, and a, and a very pretty one, too. You know what, Michelle, don't take any notice of him, okay? You will make a great doctor someday, all right? I know. <laughs> Look, who knows what will happen once you finish the PA program? 
Yeah, if I'm lucky enough to finish the PA program. Come on, Michelle. You're young. You have time to make decisions as you go along. I mean, once Robbie goes back to school, who knows? I'm just saying, you should follow your dream as far as it takes you. Yeah. Dreams change, though. No, I'm uh, <clears throat> You don't know my little sister as well as I do, so I'm going to let you in on just a little secret here. Um, she is the smartest person in this room. And, but once she fell in love, I'm telling you, that was it. It's like everything fell by the wayside. It's like, hello, hello, paging Michelle, paging. to check my phone messages. Okay, well, okay, you talk to your sister. I didn't... Mel, I didn't mean to hurt her. I know. I didn't. I know. Talk to her. All right. Thanks for the advice. Oh, please don't tell me that I scared Mel away. You didn't. She's right outside. She's fine. I'm sorry, Rick. Michelle, I'm sorry. It's just been a really stressful morning. I, I didn't mean to take it out on Stop you. Stop apologizing. You're getting in the way of my apology. Okay? Mm -hmm. Michelle, I love you, and I'm your biggest fan. I know. And it's not too late. I don't want to talk I about it. I know that you regret not finishing med school. I know that, but you can still do it. Dad always said that you would have been the best doctor in the family. I really don't remember what he used well, to he say. Well, he said it. He said it all the time. I mean, you're the one who was best suited for medicine. He said it a million times. Then why did he leave? If he cared so much, why didn't he stay and help me find my way? You know, sometimes I think, why would I do anything that would make him proud? Michelle, I, I wish I had the answer for that, but I don't. He just walked out. He doesn't think about me. He doesn't even miss me. No, no, no. Michelle, we don't know that. We don't. Well, we know one thing for sure. If you really cared, he would have come back by now. Or at least, at least, he would have been in touch. There has to be a very good reason why he's been away as long as he has. <sighs> There's no good reason, and you know it. God, you're a father now. How can you even justify what he's done? I can't. And I wish there was more to say about this, Michelle, but there isn't. Sorry. No. No, don't be sorry. We should talk about our dad. We don't do it very often. But Michelle, I'm telling you something. If you're if you're turning your back on medicine to punish our father, you're not hurting him. You're hurting yourself. And the woman in me understands that. But the little girl in me, the one he abandoned, so angry, so, so hard. I just feel like I can't even breathe. Why, why, why did he leave? Why wasn't I enough to make him want to stay? I don't know. But I'm here for you. You know that. I know, and you're the best brother in the whole world. You are. But you're not my dad. He's gone. Maybe I should have videotaped your marriage proposal so that you couldn't wriggle out of it. Well, now, that's not what I'm doing at all. Uh. Obviously, marrying you is one of my favorite pastimes. I've done it over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> then let's set a date. I'm just... I don't want Mara to think that we're being insensitive to what she's going through. And I think Mara needs to see that sometimes love stories do have happy endings. Not for them. It no. won't be. No, it won't. But I don't want her to lose faith in love. Because sometimes that's all you have. I want her to see us on our wedding day and know that 
sometimes even in spite of itself. Love works. <laughs> I'm going to drop to one knee and ask you to marry me all over again. Let's pick a day. Yeah. Pick a day right now. Okay, now you're talking. <laughs> all right, here I go. Ooh, nothing there. Let's go to the next month. Well, no, no, no that's just that's work. That's now I have this here. Well, okay. That's all. I can't do that either. June 7th. What are you doing on June 7th? Don't you? Tony, don't shut up! Shut up! Listen to me. I killed Catalina. I killed her. No. No, he Mara, didn't. Mara, she no, lied to me. Truth. She lied to my family. Now, you don't do that. And live. I did what I had to do. I came home that night, Mara. I grabbed that stone angel. Look at me, Mara. I grabbed that stone angel and I... I smashed her skull in. I'm a monster. God, be happy, no. be happy. You got out alive. Simple 
A typical car insurance agent. This has been Guiding Light. remain on the amazing race and Wednesday a new adventure begins all right let's go race from Australia and the rugged outback to New Zealand where the local custom of herding sheep is not as easy as it looks can't tackle them but first the teams must take the most incredible leap of faith I'm gonna have a high of their lives I want to go home to my mommy <laughs> just three shows left all new amazing race CBS Wednesday Four episodes left. Seven survivors remain. All of us are on our last legs. CBS Thursday. I never thought I could feel the inside of my ribs. Starvation forces the survivors to fish in shark-infested waters. I'm going to see if I can whack it because it comes so close. Plus, it's the most incredible underwater challenge ever. Now, the only question is, how long can you hold your breath? All new Survivor CBS Thursday. From Wish TV, your 24-hour news station. Here